According to the workers, their action has been necessitated by the refusal of the Meridian Port Service MPS to hand over 20% of container traffic to the Ghana Ports and Harbour Authority during the exclusivity period of 10 years as directed by Cabinet in 2019. According to them, this has denied the state of the needed revenue. They embarked on an industrial strike amidst drumming and dancing on Tuesday and Wednesday. <laughs> It took the intervention of the police and some top management officials to calm the situation. The chairman of the Junior Staff Workers Union, Emmanuel Ahin, addressed the aggrieved workers. Almost one month, two years out of ten years, you know. Twenty percent, you know. Two years. Oh no. Two years. Twenty years, you know. 20 years, uh, 20 percent of the uh, events agreement. You know, I'm going to two years. Now, two years, you know, I'm going to start the implementation. Uh, the first August. Now, no uh, problem. Let me know about you, you know, your papa and your papa. I know that I'm going to say, you can't find out. I'm going to say, let me know your papa. It's going to be two years. It's going to be ending 2024. According to the Director General of the Ghana Ports and Harbour Authority, Michael Luguje, encouraged the workers to rest assured that their interest will be saved. You see, our name is in the shipping plan for the wrong reasons. Because, because this very action has disrupted all the shipping schedules our vessels had. And, 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 and this, and just as, just as we told you yesterday, that engagements were already ongoing way before yesterday's action, and that we have to result by tomorrow morning late. I am here with my team on behalf of the Honourable Minister and the Board, to, to inform you that just as we promised you yesterday, we have this letter from, from the MPS. You, can, you are not allowed to take it to the media. You are all part of my time of it. If and, and vessels are going to come with containers, that are going to be apportioned along this 20% and 80%. There's a lot of there's a, there's a lot of work that has to be done as to how the distribution will be done. And that is why, that is why, listen, that is why it cannot be immediate. But the most important thing is that we have this letter here granting the 20%. Now, I heard someone asking, you want to see it. Don't forget, listen, listen very carefully. This this is an agreement between us and partners. We cannot write now this letter in public domain for it to be written about. But, but listen, your, your leaders, your leaders have, can call at my office. They will read it word for word. No, wait, no. Your leaders can call at my office and read the letter. Management of the Ghana Ports and Harbour Authority on Thursday, July 14, issued a press statement assuring maritime workers and dockers and all stakeholders that it had agreed with MPS to take the 20% container traffic from August 1, 2022. It was stated in a statement that GPHA and MPS have worked out technical and financial details needed for the implementation of the agreement. It further stated that calm has since been restored at the Tema port and about 11 vessels have sailed and berthed the maritime workers and the dockers, which forms part of the Trade Union Congress, are demanding a release of 20% of the containerized services uh, at the Tema port to the Ghana Ports and Harbors Authority. My name is Fred Duo reporting from Tema.
for city news